Hello juniors, my name is John Kelly. I'm currently a senior here at Endicott College. Uh, this is just a quick video to tell you about my internship at the PBD Police Department. I'm just about to finish up um, on my last week. Uh, and I just want to cover three major aspects about the internship. One, the workplace. Two, the people I work with. And three, the projects I worked on throughout the internship. So I can't really tell you much about the PBD Police Department itself because I did sign a form at the beginning of the internship that said I wouldn't release any information I learned. What I can tell you is it's a very different setting from a normal office setting. For instance, right across the hallway from me was dispatch and where I was actually working was records. So everything that I heard that went on and everything that I learned, I'm not really allowed to talk about. So, you know, that's pretty exciting in itself. The commute, it's 20 minutes from Endicott, the PB Police Department, and then it's also 20 minutes back but that's depending on traffic. So you're talking 40 minutes a day, four days a week, and then my hours were from roughly eight o'clock in the morning to four o'clock in the afternoon, but that did fluctuate depending on what I was working on that day. As for the people I work with, I really worked with two different groups of people, one the Healthy PB Collaborative, and then I also worked with an officer one-on-one -on -one a lot. Um, an important thing to remember while you're working at a police department is how you refer to people. So in a normal office setting, you refer to people as sir or ma'am, but at a police department, you refer to them by their ranking. For instance, if I was to talk to the chief of police, I'd call him chief. If I was to talk to a lieutenant, I'd call them a lieutenant. That's the way it is. Uh, they take great pride in it, and they deserve that respect as officers. So it's an important thing to remember while you're working at a police department. As for the actual people I worked with, over at the Healthy Peabody Collaborative, I worked with Sarah and Sandy. And what they do is they reach out to schools and they help students basically uh, remember to live above the influence and become better people. The work they do over there, I can't say enough. Uh, they do a great job. One of the projects I helped them out with was Red Ribbon Week. And what that week is, is they do outreach projects with the school. So for instance, with third grade, we um, did a bookmark activity, and then with fourth grade, they did essays. And I really can't thank Sarah and Sandy enough for what they've taught me throughout the internship. The second person I worked with was Officer Heath, uh, and I also can't thank enough um, Chief Griffin for bringing me on to work on the Special Olympics Law Enforcement Torch Run. My main project during that uh, torch run was uh, to outreach to the community with Officer Heath and reach out to restaurants and also reach out to corporations. Uh, our main goal was to see if they'd make donations and it was a great success because at the event we had over 50 different restaurants to donate. We also raised over $54,000 and all that money went right to the Special Olympics. So we had over 350 runners and we had a couple hundred more um, cheering everyone on. So that was great. We also had a, uh, a kids dash before the actual 5K, and then we also had Santa Claus and the Grinch coming on a chopper. So that was that was pretty cool. That's all I really have for you today, juniors. Uh, I hope this video helps you out with your search, and I highly suggest this internship for hospitality majors um, because it does a lot with event planning. Then, as for law enforcement majors. Uh, I highly suggest the PB Police Department. They do a great job uh, with interns over there. They, you know, they get to do ride-alongs. They also do the um, the Citizens Police Academy. I can't tell you too much about it because I am on the hospitality side of things. But um, if you want to learn more, I definitely suggest reaching out to the PB Police Department. They're very welcoming over there, and uh, I highly suggest this internship. Good luck with your search, juniors, and. Uh, Best of luck next year.